So that clip was using just the second output into an AC15 with a bit of overdrive and delay. Sounds fantastic. The second output now features our high definition isolation circuit. 20 years ago, when we launched our very first ever switching system, the Pro 14, we realized that we had to have isolation on one of the outputs. If you're using two amps together and you don't isolate one of them, you can get earth loops and it's a, you know pretty nasty. So of course we use an audio transformer. It's what everyone uses, they sound great. But there's something that has always bugged me about them. And it's the fact that audio transformers have their own character. You might love them, you might not. What I've always been striving for is to have an exact mirror image from output one on output two. A couple of years ago, we were working on a different product, but it led me to think that there was a way to do it. So basically we use a differential technology, it's like balancing the audio signal, um, but we do it in a, you know, a space of a couple of millimeters, but it gives us perfect isolation. It gives us fantastic um, phase reversibility, but it is an exact mirror image of output one without any of the coloration that an audio transformer can give you. So this technology now comes as standard on all of the products that we make that use an isolated output. So the AB Baby and the Humdinger, as well as, of course, G3 and G3 Atom. Where have you heard this before? Well, I've been using this technology on that pedal show for the last 18 months. So anything that you've heard recorded it might be this. It might be this. Or this. That second amplifier was isolated using our high definition isolation circuitry. So as I said, this technology now comes as standard on all of our products that use an isolated second output. Is it a massive difference? I don't know, it might be 5%, but we're all about that 5%, right? It's really important. So yeah, enjoy wonderful mirror image isolation on output two.